How's it going guys? This is Mouse Ball and this is the Attack Mouse Nation and welcome to Motoring with Mouse Ball. And guys, today we're back at Cars and Coffee Miami and Jessica, she's taking the day off. She's worn out and I made the show along with Cole. Um, Turbo Tom's not going to be here because Turbo Tom's cars are both out of commission. But basically, I wanted Cole to go with me for a test drive in mouse ball to hear the new intake but he's got to go to work so unfortunately cole is actually going to be you know heading straight from the car show all the way to work at autozone which honestly i should go and pay him a visit sometime and buy some products over there <laughs> I got some good stuff there. but anyway we're going to go ahead and we're going to walk the show and take a look at some of the awesome vehicles out here and as you can see right here, this is a Chevrolet Apache or what the owner calls the green monster. It's got the moon eye wheels, which are classic. And you don't often see some of these older trucks out here, like this GMC right here. And I love the two-tone color on it, this blue with white and the white top. And it's got the houndstooth interior on the inside. It's got the Estats wood. And this one's the Sierra Grande model. So this one's got the Sierra Grande trim. But right here, this is a car that Roger Gusty and Maxwell Duncan could definitely really get a kick out of. And this car was at the Fuel Fed for Lauderdale show, this Mini Cooper. And I'm pretty sure I got this on video before, but never really got an opportunity to see the engine too close up and I love the fact that they painted the block orange with the blue ignition wires and I mean this little thing is just absolutely gorgeous I mean what a beautiful car and then obviously the Alpha with twin cam on the inside 2 liter and the side draft carburetors and what looks like Rosa Corsa red paint so, I mean, you know, you can't beat dual Webers on velocity stacks. We just have a eclectic mix of beautiful cars out here. Right here you have the Lucid Air. And obviously these are all electric. You got your mix of BMWs, but right here, this section right here is all Toyota and Lexus. This one in particular, the Celica was a rally monster. I mean, this thing was a massive, massive star when it came to the rally race circuit. And this particular car was one generation away from the final swan song which was the Celica GTS that had the 1.8 liter Yamaha inspired cylinder head that made 180 horsepower. Now, obviously that car was a little sleeker, a little narrower and not as wide. And then right here you have the Corolla GR, 1.6 liter, 300 horsepower. Just an absolutely stunning car. Look at this thing, it has two piece rotors and a happy owner behind the wheel and you've got three exhaust tips now the thing is, is that the Civic Type R has three exhaust tips this one has three exhaust tips separated from each other which really makes the car look extremely exotic and really unique for what it is in it but I haven't made content in like two days so I figured here's an opportunity to go out to Cars and Coffee Miami and I mean, Jess is so exhausted that she's literally taking the day off from work and just sleeping in. So, you know, I gotta do the things that Mama Mouse wants me to do and that means hit the car shows. So right here, we got an Audi R8 on B locks, <laughs> which is really crazy. And I mean, these cars are fast already, but if the car has bead locks or slicks, you know, there's something up with it especially with the super right here with the actual headlight missing on one side 
and you know that if the headlight's missing, there's a little something special under the hood that not too many people know about. <laughs> Obviously that BMW engine isn't stock anymore. But right here you have your Supra, the generation that everybody seems to love. And this one still has the sequential turbochargers. So it's still twin turbo. It still has the three liter in it. You know, most purists want their cars stock. But right here, just the eclectic mix of cars out here that you can come and see in Miami. And there's just amazing stuff out here from your right-hand drive JDM cars, from your BMWs, Audis, and Mercedes. I mean, you got cars that, I mean, people have just put their blood, sweat, and tears in. I mean, this one right here has an RB20. And I mean, just look how massive that intake plenum is on this car. And then you got this massive three inch to a two and a half inch reducer coupling. And then the turbocharger is it's huge. And over here you have your Hondas. I mean, obviously these cars are super lightweight. They don't weigh much at all. And then they make pretty big power. This one's probably a B18 or a B16. So it's a B series engine. And you know, it's not unknown for cars to have those kinds of uh, swaps because most Hondas, you know, they go with the K series, like a K20 or K24, but a B series engine's more, you know, affordable. It's easier to get your hands on. And obviously they make good power as it is anywhere from 300 to 500 horsepower. And this is the Fast and the Furious version of the Toyota Supra. But with a lot more carbon fiber involved in it and vendors out here selling hot wheels obviously some of the rare ones because you know they cost two to three times as much but right through here just look at this you got your gti you got a honda active sdx that's definitely a jdm import got a Ferrari this one right here is an F8 I believe but the thing is they've made so many different Ferraris it's hard to realize what particular model it might be so I'm pretty sure this is an F8 this has got the twin turbo V8 engine in it looks like it's Bianco Avis but just a beautiful car. Right here, we got an old school Monte Carlo, 1971. And these trucks are making a big comeback, the squarish GMCs, so on and so forth. So, I mean, like I said again, guys, when it comes down to it, you're always gonna see something different here at Cars and Coffee Miami. And I mean, the Subarus, they just keep on getting better and better and better with the modifications. This one's got this beautiful color. I love the way it looks. I mean, just, I like the fact that he blacked out the turbo. That looks really amazing. And he's got a Sonic the Hedgehog theme, which is even cooler. I like that. That's really great. <laughs> and the turntable with his car on the top. That's really cool. But yeah, just amazing cars out here. SRT 300. And just giving you guys kind of a point of view look of all the stuff that's out here I mean obviously we still have 
the Fuel Fit for Lauderdale show coming up at the end of the month. But when it comes down to a mix of the modern and the old and some of the unicorns and eccentric cars that you don't often see, this is one of the best shows to come to. Not to mention that it doesn't cost you a lot of money <laughs> to come out here. Maybe a little bit of gas, but that's about it. But okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get more footage out here of the show and show you some more awesome cars in just a moment. 